Renee here. I am here today to put together the Holly Jolly scrapbooking workshop and this workshop looks really cute. I've already pre-cut all of my image on my papers and I've already um, taken all of my die cuts out of their sheets. Um, if you're having issues taking your die cuts out of your sheet, um, just refer to a video I had a few weeks ago where I showed you the easy way to do that. Just look on my, my um, list of videos and you will easily see that. If you can't find it, let me know and I'll help you find it. Um, this kit also comes with, and these are our new kits, so you don't have a lot of extras left over, which is great. So you don't have all of these, you know, bits and pieces. You're like, well, what do I do with these now? So you get one sheet of the Holly Jolly Dots. They're so pretty. You get the um, sheet protectors that you need for your layouts. So I'll put those aside. We don't need those right now. This makes a two page layout and then four single page layouts. Um, but I think you can combine some of these layouts next to each other in your, um, your photo album. And I think they'll go along great because all of the colors work um, with everything. There is an optional technique of ink splattering with a shimmer brush. I am not going to do that today. I am having a day and I think if I were to splatter anything, it would be a gigantic disaster. So we're going to skip that today, but believe me, it's very simple. Um, and uh, the other reason I'm going to skip it is I don't have the black shimmer brush. I didn't get it thinking I would never use it. And then look, here I am. I need it. So go figure. Um, so we will just go ahead and get started. Um, here is the sticker sheet. It is so, and it's our hard cardstock stickers. It is so adorable. Um, I'll be curious if we use every single one of them because they are so cute. I could see several of these being um, focal point on a card and they would be just adorable. So um, I will get started on this kit. I will play some uh, probably Christmas music for you, you know, because you only have a little while out of the year that you can do that and people won't throw things at you. So I will put some music on and I'll be back at the end to talk about what I learned putting these together and any tips and tricks that I figured out. Okay, enjoy.
We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. Good tidings for Christmas and a Happy
Okay. Wow, this was a lot of fun. There was a lot of stuff on these two. I mean, on these um, five pages. Wow. So, um, I hope you could see how I put together these. Um, it took me a little bit to figure it out, but what you do is you take three and make sure you get the three that are the same size and you're going to glue them together like I did. And then when you put them down on the page, you're just putting them flat. So you'll see here, here's one piece, here's the other side. So that would be one, two, and three. Okay. Um, I do think I probably put the wrong one. I think this bigger one is supposed to go over here, but I think I kind of like it over there to balance things out a little better. Um, I think this really turned out great. I love this layout. Six by eight. I don't know if I have ever done a six by eight. I'll have to go back through my old, um, my old layouts and see if I have any six by eights that I've ever done. So that's going to be fun to find a really fun picture. Um, I am getting ready to put our tree up. Um, I was thinking it was kind of early because usually I don't do it until the day after Thanksgiving, but you know what? Dollywood already has their Christmas stuff out. So I figure if it's good enough for Dolly, I can do it too. So there you go. So that was layout one. Okay. Layout two. This is so cute. Now I did leave this pretty open here so that I can slip in a photo right there. Um, this is, I just love the way that this came out with all the little houses and the, the sparkly, um, I don't know if you can see the sparkle, hopefully it's picking it up, the sparkly snowflakes. I just really like this one. I think this is really a sweet layout. Okay, now this one, um, this one's really heavy because you used a lot of paper. So if you want to die cut some stuff out, of this dark green and the lighter green um, you can certainly do that because you're not going to see it it's going to be covered so if you wanted to save some of that paper and use it for some other purposes you absolutely can there's more than enough of it there to go around um, this cutout was so cute and so fun you'll notice I didn't punch out um, the pieces under here I took a look at the layout before I started doing all the die cuts. And I went, why am I spending my time on that little space right there when you're not even gonna see it's covered up. So one thing I did do is I got a little overzealous when I was punching out everything and I accidentally tore this edge. So what I did, this little um, cluster here was supposed to be a little bit closer to the Be Mary. I just moved it up a little bit and covered that little tear. No problem whatsoever. But I really like how this came out. Um, I did leave this open. Um, I put this on since it was only going to be held on by two little tiny spaces. I did use glue dots for that to hold it in place. And then once I put a photo, I can tack it the rest of the way down. But I really like this one too. I really like the, the quilty look of this background piece. Okay, now this one. Um, I am going to leave it, this is its backing page, um, I am going to leave it apart until I find my photos because if I were to glue this all down it would be nearly impossible to get my photos in there because you can see that the photos go right here and right here. So I left my placeholders in there so I know where they go, um, glued down the items that were staying on the background like these items here, I glued those down to the background and then the, the rest I glued just to this overlay piece and then um, when it's all ready to go put my photos in and then I can just glue the whole rest of this down but that turned out really really cute I love that die cut and the last one this one was so much fun to put together as I was putting it together I'm like oh I can't wait to get my snow globes out I have several snow globes in my um, my decorations I can't wait to get those out but this turned out really cute. I did need to put him up on some foam tape because there was just so much going on right there that when I put him down, I don't, you probably can't tell in the video, but in person you could tell he just wasn't flat. He was like all rumply and I don't want a rumply snowman. So there you go. Now what I did want to show you is this, this is it. That's all that's left of the kit. This and 
what did I do with it? There it is. And these dots. That's it. Used up every little bit except for that. It was great. I love I love when there's not a lot of leftovers. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions about this particular kit, please let me know. Um, and I'll be happy to answer those for you. And if you're not already a subscriber, I'd love to have you subscribe. That would be wonderful. And um, I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.